Hello everyone and welcome to a wonderful rainy evening here in the Bavarian Forest in Germany. This is Walter, my Volkswagen ID3 First Edition Plus. And for a few days ago I got the message that Over the Air Update 3.0 has been downloaded and I can install it. It came on a different date and I thought, and by the way, the echo in here is I'm in the garage because it's raining out there. <laughs> and it's dark, it's what is it, 5 p.m., something like this. Uh, I wanted to install it today because tomorrow is Saturday and then it's Christmas and I wanted it to do before the holidays on Tuesday I have to work again. Today is Friday. So uh, what I've noticed with Walter and the update is that it doesn't always show the update available up, uh, button and, uh, but I found uh, a way to get around it so to see it and it's in the tips that Volkswagen gave me the video I did a few days ago so what I noticed is that when the parking symbol for the parking brake stays on when you lock the door and then after 10 minutes this goes away then I get into the car I don't press anything and then I can see that the, the ID light is doing something and it does that for a while, I think 10 times or so. When this is over, I press the start stop button down here, wait a few seconds, wait till everything is online. And then when I turn off the ignition again, update is available. And the warning that it takes longer <laughs> than what the update says. Important is that nowhere in the car you can see this update button, even in system information and show updates, even if you go through all of those. You don't see it only if you turn the car off. Yeah, the 3.0 update is uh, installed in two updates. First, uh, the big update, which should take six to eight hours. And then uh, right afterwards, when this is installed, it should download the next update and then ins you install this as well. And when you install, you cannot use the car, you cannot drive it. It has to be finished and then you can go on. But now it's time to do the update. I'm excited. The second over-the-air update that Walter got, he got the 2.3 from 2.1 to 2.3 over-the-air update last year in June or July, I can't remember. And now it's time for 3.0. Yeah, so let's go get in and do it. Then it tells me to turn off the light. Let's do that here off and then we can look at the further information which is just the 3.0 god it's a lot of text disclaimer but let's install huh Intala installation will start once you leave and lock the car well, let's lock and see what's happening. Locked. And by the way, there's a safety also in there. So when you lock, it won't start the installation for about two minutes. So if you lock and then, oh my God, I forgot something. You can unlock and everything is stopped. You have to do the install button again. It's 7 a.m. in the next morning. And I will now go down and look what the car says. I'm a bit nervous <laughs> if it says anything, hopefully. When I went out of the car and locked it yesterday, after, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, I could see the two red lights in the instrument cluster were on and in the app, it didn't show offline mode, but I couldn't see anything about the car. And this was the same last uh, over the air update. So I thought it would be working. <laughs> well, the two red lights seems to be off. Moment of truth. I have the key here and I will unlock. Ah! Ah! 
default vehicle lightning. Okay. Aerodynamic light. I have error messages. Continue. Log in. We still preview to complete the system update. Let's look. I used two percent of the battery. Was it eighty percent? So a bit of time has passed and the login just didn't work and it always showed me that I don't have an internet connection. So what I had to do was cancel, I tried a few times by the way, so I had to cancel this login and then say remind me later, then I could get into my normal infotainment screen. And then I went into users settings and I wasn't logged in like now and I had to go to privacy setting and put in all of those three things so vehicle usage data and whatever and it says even so send and receive data online mode and I did this and then online mode st uh, started so I had my 4G connection everything and it downloaded another update right away a small one where it said uh, it's just for the shop and for the next over the air update and then I, uh, a bit later I tried logging in again and it worked. Um, I, there was a QR code that I had to scan with my phone and then it went to the Volkswagen site and then you put in your WeConnect ID uh, login data and then the car was uh, connected. And then I had another update, uh, um, a tiny little update, so a small one. And now I am on on this and I know my map is old Walter didn't update the, the map for, for a long time and maybe it does it now if not I have to reset the, the car and whatever but it's not so important to me and let's see how the shop is working it should complain that it's not in German and what do we have we connect plus what is that uh-huh yeah i just noticed no my trip did not get saved because in long term it says i used 352 watt hours per kilometer that's not true so the app doesn't work yet with the car right now i can see my normal information that i always can see but uh, it doesn't show me the right thing if it's locked or unlocked so when i lock it, it doesn't change the door is now open it doesn't show that and i cannot see where the car is good morning everyone it's the next day yesterday when i drove around 40 minutes or 10 15 minutes around here and then on the way to my parents for christmas eve the next update popped up so next update is available step two of the over the air 3.0 and it says it should take around 90 minutes and i will go through the steps what we do now I have to unplug and then go in to get into the car and start the update and get out again and then we'll see how all that works but I have good coverage here internet connectivity mobile internet so 4g everywhere even 5g but the car can't do 5g so you can expect around 40 to 60 minutes depending on your connection where you live let's go in let's do our thing that we always do first we have good internet connection even five bar Oh my god, Let's turn off, yep, and there it is, update available, further information, still, uh, this is the second part over the air update, blah blah blah, this is more for the UI, okay, switch off side lights, Lights are off, it's, it tells me approximately 90 minutes. Please leave and lock the vehicle. Update number two is installed. It took really 90 minutes and I could see it uh, on the app so that I didn't have any connection to the car. And then really almost exactly at 90 minutes, I saw that I saw the range and the state of charge again, but I cannot, still cannot see that it's locked and the location 
we'll have, maybe I have to do something in the car. And uh, by the way, in the car, there was never two red lights. It was just a parking uh, brake light. It was just uh, staying on. Ooh, new map data, a new database that's up to date, 12.22, woohoo! <laughs> and I think this is different. Let's look at lane assist. Yes, with OBD11 I changed lane assist to remember the last state and it still remembers that I set it to off. <laughs> So another day went by and I noticed something that I did wrong. So in the first day I just installed the update and then uh, I went into the shop and uh, I activated WeConnect Plus and it took a day to get an email that it said it's activated now. And in the app still the location of the car and that it's locked uh, did not show and I thought mm, why is that and then I looked into the shop again in the car and under we we connect It's that which you also can activate and I thought we connect plus is just the next level But in there in the description it said this is for location data and that you see if windows are closed and stuff like this And if it's locked and then I activated that again and I thought now I will take another day and I still haven't gotten the email. It should come today that it's activated, but it was in the car and it works. And also what I noticed, I couldn't synchronize my profile in the car to the cloud. So I pressed it and it said uh, not available. And today I could do that. It takes, I don't know, two, three minutes to synchronize and had good 4G connection, four bars. Um, but uh, it took, a, like I said, two minutes or so and then it said synchronized and then now in the app I have all the things. I see that Walter is locked and I can see where the car is and when I go into mobile online services before when there was something red here, you haven't activated that now, it's all fine and everything is activated. So that good. Another tip, if uh, you get into 3.0 usually for the S pin, so that's a pin for your profile if you don't want anyone else to use it. Your profile, you can set a pin and usually you should get a QR code that you scan and then you get to my Volkswagen site and then you can put in what your S pin might be. If this for some, for whatever reason is already set and you don't remember that you did that or you have to change it or something like this, you can go on the, the website uh, Volkswagen D, uh, whatever your country is and go into my Volkswagen and go into the WeConnect settings. And the first thing that you can see is S pin and you can change it and reset it and whatever. And then you sh it should be fine in the car. You can use your profile, but now it's done. <laughs> 3.0 is installed and everything is working. I'm happy. It was less problematic than I thought and that's cool. So hopefully you get your update as well very soon. Enjoy it. I will enjoy it as well. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.